do you know you can use gmail as an smtp and you can transport these credentials of the smtp gmail smtps to an external mailer where you can run your emails from other than using the gmail platform so how do you go about it the first step is you just come here you come to your account you come to security the first thing that you want to do is um, you want to add two-step verification and then you want to hit uh, get started and i put my password there next all right then you're being asked here to set up a, a phone number which one the phone number that you want to use Want to use this one um all right um let me receive a text hit on next i'm gonna put the code that uh that has just been sent in my phone number all right and then after you put in the code here you're going to uh, you're going to ensure that uh, the two step has been verified i'm here to receive uh, the code so i'm going to resend it next all right let's see whether you're going to receive it not yet sent so i'm going to use a different phone number to see if i'm going to receive it let's try this valid number let me see that one work plus two all right there you go let's see whether you're going to receive a text this time around yep we got it so you put uh, the code that way and then you hit next and then you hit turn on all right so once you have turned on uh, the verification the next step you want to do is you want to uh the search up passwords and then you hit a password here you create a password i want to use this smtp externally and i want to test it using uh, mail list so i'm gonna put uh, mail list there then create this is the password of the smtp and i'm going to hit done All right so I'm going to come back to my mailwiz here uh, this is mailwiz for you in case you want to have mailwiz we can always do a setup for you so you come to delivery servers you come to create new smtp uh, gmail host them is uh, let me see smtp.gmail.com the username is the the email address from which we have obtained the app password. So the it is, let me pick it, copy that and come here, paste. You can give it um, any identifying name. And uh, use anything here the name don't forget to go to moreflexi.com and so that you can do generate free ai images very nice ai images the likes of um, uh, mid journey better than mid journey images moreflexi.com don't forget and then um, for the port we are going to use 465 the protocol is uh, ssl the email address, this is the email address that you just configured. There you go. 
And then when I'm sending using um, melis, I usually recommend put a minimum of five, five minutes. This is in microseconds. If you convert that, you'll see these microseconds are equivalent to five minutes. Um, and then check everything is okay. You can have your bounce there as well if you want it. But for now, I'll leave it open. And then the next thing I want to do is hit save. All right. Once I've hit save, the next step I want to do is to activate activate uh, these um, activate this SMTP. So you can send it into probably one of the one of your any other email, and then click on uh, validate. There you go. If I come here to that email that I've just sent, uh, check here. Here it is, validate this. And then click on that. If you come here, we already have a Gmail SMTP that you can use to send emails. So my plan is very simple, is um, I already have like a lot of Gmails and uh, each Gmail is going to be sending around 50 uh, 50 emails. The target is to do 100,000 emails per month because I have pretty many uh, Gmails. Some of them are here. So all these Gmails are going to become SMTP. And this can be very good when it comes to when you're running personal campaigns because uh, you won't have a lot of issues to you're sending uh, person to person. So it becomes very easy for you to have very high deliverability. And um, also when you're doing a free Gmail to another free Gmail, as long as your content is good and you've used uh, features like um, random, con uh, random content creation. Uh, for instance, you can check my campaign here. You'll be able to see that I always execute random content, which is very crucial for deliverability. Uh, save and next. See this? This is the random content uh, that I've always recommended that uh, you want to use. I have done a comprehensive video on how to run a campaign using Melwiz. But for today, I just wanted to tell you that how that it is possible to use Gmail as an SMTP. You are free Gmail as an SMTP. Just a quick recap. You just need to have um, two-step verification and then create a NAP specific password and you're good to go and you'll be able to run your campaign. So that's all I had for you for today. Don't forget to subscribe and share widely. In case you have an issue or you need help, our contacts are in the description. Chat with us. We are quick to respond and we'll be waiting for you. Thank you. Goodbye.